Many uh, leaders uh, feel that if they tell people it's important and encourage them and create a culture of innovation that they will get innovation, but it's not true. Here with somebody who's called by the economist Mr. Creativity and calls himself an innovation activist. What is your focus? My focus right now is trying to get uh, innovation to be a global agenda, uh, to define and drive a global agenda for innovation. So right now there are many countries, many regions, many cities that are focusing on trying to be more innovation driven. They're looking for the sources of economic growth. But there's a lot of unclarity as to what innovation is, how to practice practice it. Um, and my job, therefore, is to try to define it and then to try to bring a community of innovation leaders together to actually do useful things. I heard a very uh, good definition of youth of innovation. Can you give me a summary of that? Sure. So um, innovation to me is about um, a set of capabilities that allows for the realization of a desired future. That's my definition. Now, there are a couple of important points about that. Uh, one is its capabilities. Many uh, leaders uh, feel that if they tell people it's important and encourage them and create a culture of innovation that they will get innovation, but it's not true. Uh, and to me, innovation is like practicing the piano. You know, you can't just decide to give a, a jazz concert tomorrow if you've never played the piano before. You have to practice, you have to learn the theory, the traditions, etc. Um, and similarly, in organizations and also in societies, you have to put in the work. You have to do the work of developing the muscles to, in order to be able to get this kind of work done. The other point is innovation to me always has to be about something. It has to be uh, some, about satisfying a purpose that engages people and engages their emotions and makes them want to change their behavior. So just simply saying that you want innovation because you want to be rich or you want to have a certain kind of economic growth, it, while it may be important, is not necessarily what is going to get people to want to get out of bed earlier in the morning to work harder or change their behavior. Um, so leadership of innovation is about setting a level of aspiration and defining that purpose in a way that causes that change. Yep. Everybody, companies and all the governments strive for innovation. Where do you see the greatest lacks here? The greatest lacks? You mean in terms of uh, the company's abilities to practice innovation? Yes. Well, there are many problems that companies run into. Uh, one is an unclear definition of innovation. If you don't have a clear definition of innovation, you can't do it. Um, not having a purpose that really uh, inspires people. Not uh, giving people the freedom to pursue innovation and to define an agenda, not providing the resources that uh, fuels the innovation uh, effort, not making the tools available um, uh, to accomplish these innovation goals, not integrating innovation with um, the CEO's thought process or the strategy processes of the company and many others. I mean, there, there are dozens of fatal flaws, both for companies and for countries, um, that would prevent them from achieving their innovation goal. And um, your personal goal, like uh, in regards to innovation, what would it, what would be your dream to reach? Well, I mean, I have uh, a personal path of exploration as well, which is uh, I've been a pianist since the age of five. I've decided a few years ago that I would um, use this period of my life to um, improve my skills at jazz piano. Uh, partly because I wrote a book about 15 years ago that was essentially what can leaders learn from jazz musicians um, and jazz is a great metaphor for the innovation process because you have to learn how to do it. Um, it is about uh, creating things that people have to find beautiful in the m and uh, um, so it, it satisfies many of the aspects of the definition that I shared with you.